For too long, man's best friend has been stifled by their limited visual acuity. Now, with my newest invention, dogs will be able to see in color! <laughs> uh, yeah, but Roy, I, I think dogs can- That's Doctor! Um, Dr. Roy G. Biv! Yeah, but and my mission is to grant all beings the ability to see in color! Okay, but I'm pretty sure dogs can see color. What?! It's pretty much common knowledge that dogs are, in fact, colorblind. But many people, like our esteemed Dr. Biv, have misunderstood this to mean that dogs cannot see color at all. While it might be simpler to think of dogs as seeing the world like an old television show, the reality is actually closer to how humans experience colorblindness, which is more accurately called color vision deficiency. The receptors that enable eyes to perceive color are called cones. Most humans have three types of cones in their eyes that roughly correspond to red, green, and blue-violet. This is called trichromacy. In the same way that we mix primary paint colors to create a whole palette of color, the combination of these three types of color receptors allow us to see a wide spectrum of light. When one of these color receptors doesn't function correctly, a person loses the ability to see that part of the color spectrum. We call this dichromacy, and people with this condition are considered colorblind, even though they can see most other colors. Dogs have a similar limitation, except their eyes naturally only have two cones corresponding to blue and yellow. Where you see a beautiful red rose, a dog only sees a yellowish brown flower, while all that lush green grass looks dehydrated and dead. And it kind of makes you wonder why they like to eat it. There, you see? My work has not been in vain. In fact, it's two-thirds of the way done! One more type of cone added to the doggy vision, and the entire spectrum shall be theirs to command! <laughs> ah, sure, Doc. Okay, 